Hi everyone. Hi dad. Hi Michaela. Hi Ethan. Hi Renee. I hope you guys are having a great time watching my videos and if you are, please click the thumbs up if you've been enjoying the series. As for newcomers, I hope you'll stay and watch and decide if you like the content that I'm delivering. For Red Rocket today, I haven't done a whole lot yet. As you can see, I'm adding in a lot of food to farm and some turrets and some extra beds, but for the most part, I just spruced things up a tiny, tiny bit and then got ready to go. Turns out I really wanted to get on with the next mission. So let's just jump right into it. Thanks for watching guys. And I hope you have a good time with this. All right, let's drop out and can I hit the button? Worked. Looks like we've got a nice little secure spot for ourselves here. Um, all the... Let's see here. Weapons. Chem. Armor. Power armor. Workbench. Uh, the only one I'm missing is the food. Oh gosh, look at this stuck in the ground. Uh, the only one I'm missing is the food, but that one's just right outside and we'll, we'll deal with that. The campfire workbench or workstation as needed. Let's get up. Let's go to sleep now. Get up early the next day so that we have a full, full daylight to do everything we want to do. One more. Okay. I have bad guns and bad armor. <laughs> um... What are my quests? Kill the raiders in Corvega. Show summary. There's the summary. A nearby gang of raiders has been terrorizing the settlement. That was Ten Pines Bluff that had been terrorized. I need to find them, the raiders, and make sure they, they'll never be a threat to anyone else again. Okay. Go to Red Rocket, meet your new settlers. I did that. But I was certain... Corvega is on the to-do list. Let's take that bad boy off. And let's go say hello. Corvega. As I'm running toward Corvega, I realize there's another distraction that I need to put on my to-do list, and that is... We we're going to go down in here. We wanted to see what the death claw, where the death claw came from. So let me add that to the list. Hole where death claw emerged. Check it out. All right. We'll deal with that in a hot minute. Okay, we've got some crates, and might be people. There's a dude with his hands held up. All right, I don't typically want to go over here this early in the game. I'm scared, but let's just see. No, don't tab. That's me. Fred, Jules, Angie. Fred, Jules, and Angie. see me again. I promise. No. We need to find what it relayed back to its masters. Don't come any closer, friend. This doesn't concern you. Please, help! They're going to kill me! Shut up! What's going on here? This thing's a synth. That's what. We've been traveling with it for weeks, but then today he finally let slip that he's an Institute errand boy. The whole fucking time. Because I thought you were my friends. I'd never be friends with a damn synth. You already were friends with the synth. Now please, just... Just let me go. <laughs> you think I'm stupid? You're just gonna run off and get your Institute buddies to come put us down. That ain't happening, pal. I'm not with the Institute. I ran away. I... I just need to get to Bunker Hill. Then, I swear I will never bother you again. Please. You believe me, right? You can't let them do this.
if he was with the Institute, don't you think killing him would just make them matter? Let him go. It's safer that way. That's a risk I'm willing to take if it means one less synth in the world. Hmm. You need to let him go. Think about it. If he meant to hurt you, wouldn't he have done it already? I would, I would, I would never do that. You're, you're my friends. They got a point, Fred. He's had all the chances in the world to harm us. Maybe... Maybe we should just let him go. I... All right. But if I ever see you again, I'm putting one right between your eyes. Oh, my God. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Just... Get the hell out of here. Uh, that may have been a mistake on my part. <laughs> I'll tell you why in a minute. <clears throat> I was gonna do it. <clears throat> Hope this doesn't come back to bite us. No loot. Um... Something that I haven't mentioned, uh, but I have played through the game many times and I have never done a Brotherhood of Steel playthrough where I sided with Brotherhood of Steel and did all of their errands and, and all of that. And, uh, and I was thinking that this playthrough would be that playthrough. I get to see all sorts of new stuff I've never seen before. It'd be a challenge to try to do stuff that I, I don't have any experience doing and how do I handle myself when I'm... Oh, that's a problem. How do I handle myself when things are happening that I didn't expect to happen because I've never played through it before? Um, but I'm almost certain that I'm not setting myself up for <laughs> for good things to happen if I'm letting synths go. I, I don't know that the Brotherhood would like that. We're, we'll see. <laughs> Um, my character is brand new to the world, though. He doesn't know the difference between the synth or the Brotherhood. He has no idea what's going on, so I guess I'm okay so far. Um... We'll take the settler loot. Mr. Tony, pick anything good? I think I did. It's interesting that he asked me if I've nicked anything good, like he's fine with me taking stuff. But if there's a locked chest, he's gonna be mad that I nicked something. Oh, I'm not worried about Fred. Not worried about Angie. That's it? Okay, good. Now, I mentioned that, um, I would eventually get a motorcycle that would allow me to move around the settlements and so on. Um, when I install the mod, a motorcycle will appear here, and I can then get a bunch of stuff to try to fix the motorcycle up and get it running. But it's not here yet. But pretend, pretend you saw a motorcycle there. ...never ceases to amaze through all the post-war devastation. The sunrise is still quite impressive. Yeah. But Mother Nature's not regrowing. That's the problem, Cosworth. Look at all this dead area. Everything is dead, and it's 200 years later. It doesn't make sense. In fact, Codsworth, what do you think? Should we... Should we try to... have Mother Nature... do a thing? Let's 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 get Mother Nature to fix this place up. Let's let's mod it. Hold on. Okay. We have a mod called a little bit of green. Let's enable it. And let's start the game back up. And we'll compare and contrast. See how the game world looks now with a little bit of green running. Well, there it is. The game world has changed. We have helped Mother Nature to start growing back. Look at that. Okay. Um, there are other mods that will do much more than this. Um, they're a little bit more taxing on your computer system as well. Um, and I don't like changing the Fallout world too far from what it actually 
is from what the designers intended. So I really like the little bit of green mod because it it kind of it, it basically says it's like a nod to something like Chernobyl, which we've seen in the real world. The greenery will will grow back it, quickly, rapidly. But I also didn't want to turn it into a lush forest or jungle like you've probably seen some people do when they mod their games. Because it's just too far away from what I think the developers intended. Um, th this, is a, this is a start. It's a humble start. Yay for duct tape. Human skull. Okay. Get that other stuff. Oh, did it all jump out after I jumped in? Okay. Okay. So there were a couple deer running by. Those are rad stags. And, uh, rad stags, I think, are marked as hostile. But they don't actually attack you unless you get real close to them, and they generally like to run from a fight, so I typically don't kill them unless I'm starving. Hmm. Got a place called Drumlin Diner right in front of us. We've also got a Brahmin right there. I don't know if you can see it behind the bars, but I can see it. Look at that. Well, isn't this all very exciting? Cudsworth, are you being sarcastic and rude? Can't tell. That's a person. No. Wrong button. There we go. Well, we've mentioned her before in the video, and it looks like... Here, let's eat before we talk to her. Just in case it's causing anything to go down in my stat block. Let's put our gun away. Oh, shoot, shoot, what? What just happened? What? What just shot at us? Oh no, he's way beyond my skill set. Okay, I'm gonna die quickly if I don't run, so let's just go over here. Let's get down. Uh, we are in serious trouble. Where is he? He's there. Let's see if we can even hurt him. He's already got me down. I'm in serious trouble. Yeah, he almost killed me. One more bullet and I'm dead. He's way beyond what I can handle. Okay, stim pack. I can move. If a single stray bullet hits me, I'm dead. And I'm trying to do no deaths in this game, and currently I have one death. How do I get out of this alive? Uh, Psycho will give me damage resistance. I'm, I'll take that without even thinking about it. Let's do that right now. Um, let's go down to the bottom of the list. What what else do I have here? All right, we're gonna take this nuka cherry, since it's the closest thing to cool we've got. It's not good, but it's it's the best we've got. I think I've done everything I can do. I took I took a stim pack. I took nuka cherry. I've got jet running, or I don't have jet running, but I've got my nerd rage running. So I think at this point my best bet is to just haul ass out of here. Go 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 as far away as I can. Oh no, Codsworth, you're down. And I'm ditching you. Sorry, Codsworth. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to save you. Oh no, he's chasing me. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Fight trash can Carla, not me. No, shoot. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Oh my gosh, I have no way out of this problem. Come on, come on. 
Come on. Hide, hide, hide. I am literally running into nothingness that I don't understand. Like, I could fall into another bad guy immediately. I have no idea where I am. Codsworth gave up on me. He's going to sanctuary. And I'm hiding behind a tree. Heal, 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 heal. Oh my gosh. That Mr. Gutsy is currently murdering Trash Can Carla. I can hear it. I don't know if you guys can hear it. I don't know if the audio is loud enough for you guys to hear it. Oh my gosh. I don't know where I am. I think I remember this house, but that's not helping me. I hope they're not shooting at me, whoever that is. Okay. I just barely lived, and I can hear Co not Codsworth, Mr. Gutsy's just going off over there. Okay. Oh no, there's more trouble. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no, they won't give up on me. Alright, I got one. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh no, I have no action points left. I can't run away. This is bad. How do I live through this? Now I'm ill. <gasps> there we go! Abernathy Farm, save me! Yes. Yes, you guys help me. I don't see anything. I think we're okay. They're coming. And I'm doing a bad job picking them off. Oh, I got one. Okay. People of Abernathy, thank you for saving my ass. Abernathy Farm. Ah, there's one more. Good. Oh, oh, he got me. All right, now. Mute fruits look a little different after you put in a little bit of green. The mute fruit bushes, they don't look the same as they used to, but I like them. They're nice looking. Um, I really like how a little bit of green changed, um, changed the way hub flowers look. That might be hub flower down there. Look at how hub flowers look now after we put in a little bit of green. That mod changes them to look like this, and I think they look really pretty now. Um, anyway. Okay. So, somewhere here, we were running, and there was a bloat fly that I shot, but I think... I was so disoriented and distracted and running for my life that I think I don't know where that bloat fly would be. <sighs> I kept my death count to just one. <laughs> I did not die again, although everything in the game was trying its damnedest to kill me. <laughs> I probably should have died. Um. But somehow I made it out alive, but now I'm infected. I think I could turn off the infection right now, though. Let's try it. Oh, no. This game is trying so hard to kill me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> uh, great. Let's, let's, let's do it. Let's deal with that, too. Um, okay. I can take antibiotics. I need water. Okay. 
Now if I go over to my stat block... I still have Psycho up from the Mr. Gutsy that was trying to kill me. I'm caffeinated from the Nuka Cherry. I don't have any negative effects though, so that, that infection is gone. Go to my inventory, over to weapons. We're gonna we're gonna keep the sniper rifle for the moment. And we are now gonna rush to defend Abernathy. Huh. Alright, what's going on with Abernathy? Why do you need defense? There goes the Abernathy's Brahmin. It's running to get away from whatever. Completed! Well, I didn't do anything. Mr. Abernathy? We did it! I was afraid we were making a mistake, trying to stand up to those bastards. But you came through for us. What? Are they talking about the bloat flies, or are they talking about... I heard you guys shooting. There was something over here you guys were firing at. Oh, dang, what's that? The Radstag is getting attacked and... by whatever that is. A mongrel, a mutant hound, mongrel, mutant hound. It won't let me target this big dude here. Get him now. No, not his arm. I'll take a shot at his torso. And a crit. Ooh, how you like that, buddy? Big guy. Big guy running. What's he doing over there? Just hiding? <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> my death count is two. I need to pause the game after everything that I went through to not die. I died out of nowhere in a single bite. Oh my gosh. All right. Uh, I'm going to save the game again and I'm going to take a break. That's crazy. Hi again. Okay. I took a break. I got something to eat. I'm... I'm... <laughs> um... Let's see. <laughs> okay. Um... I ran like crazy from a giant enemy only to be accosted by a bunch of bloat flies and I ran from them and I saw a house in the distance I saw two houses I saw the Gorski house the green one which I know is a trouble but my character doesn't know that but it's just more trouble I saw another house on stilts that had uh, dudes firing their guns at it and I was like are they firing at me and I ran from them too I head back to Abernathy farm the bloat flies keep coming but the Abernathy's help me save my butt but then I hear gunfire or something out behind Abernathy Farm. I go out behind Abernathy Farm, and there is my first look at a super mutant. I don't know that my character knows what a super mutant is at this point in time, but there's the super mutant. And I try to pick him off from distance. <laughs> and he runs while his dog circles around behind me and kills me from behind. And killed me in one bite. I didn't even get a chance to have nerd rage kick in. He just ruined me. I really want to look back at that footage. Just to see what my hit points were at before the dog got to me. I wonder if you guys could look at that. Can I do this right while you guys are here? Can I? Let me just see. I just want to see what. What happened? I don't know if you guys will see this. That's, that's okay. That's, that's there. There's me. Great. Okay. Let's go in. 
Let's turn that off. Okay. All right. That's me fighting. I'm trying to pick out targets. There he is. Look at my hit points. My hit points were great. I was healing up. I nailed him. And then he nailed me right back. Did he get it in one bite? Let's see if my hit points go completely to zero. They do. I was almost fully healed. Look at me with my mouth open. <laughs> okay. I was almost fully healed. And that dog took me out in a single bite. Um... <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. I have been so careful with this game. This game is like is like no, this guy's too careful. We are going to take him out somehow. <laughs> so it did. Um oh my goodness. All right. There, there goes their Brahmin again, just like last time. We're going from our save point. Oh my gosh. Completed. They took out whoever was over there that they were fighting. I approach. Blake is going to tell me blah blah. Blake's not there anymore. Where did Blake go? Hmm. Hmm. Those green things are silt beans. They used to be bright yellow. When you install a touch of green mod, it turns them a little bit like greeny yellow. Um. <clears throat> so I kind of want to go over there and get those, but... Oh boy, okay. I need to talk to Blake, but also, um, oh my gosh, that is that, that is the dude! And the dog that killed me! Um, there's a campfire right where they're standing, and that campfire attracts random encounters, and, um, and usually, whenever you restart a game because you got your butt kicked, the game will swap the encounter out for something else. Typically, it'll swap down for something easier because you clearly couldn't handle whatever random encounter they threw at you. But this time, no, no, no. They kept the same dude. Ooh, this game just wants me to die over and over, doesn't it? Eat that. All right, here comes that doggo. He will kill me. Let's run. have to avoid the doggo. Oh! Oh! That's what you guys were shooting at. Okay, okay. Now what do you got going on? Why can't I target the dog? What is going on? Is he- he's down? Oh, and Marcy probably joined in to help. Okay. Well, but you didn't take out the Super Mutant, did you guys? No, he's still over there. What? Nailed you. Nailed you again and again and again. Wait, did I win? scared to go up to this K 
campfire and find another another dog waiting for me. Kill me in one bite. Sting wings. So I guess the mutant hound and the and the super mutant encountered the sting wings, killed them, and then took over this spot. <clears throat> There's our campfire. I might have told you guys about this, but one time when I, when I was trying to film this footage for you guys, I, like I said, I've, I've played through probably, I played through this beginning area probably 20 times trying to film this footage, and I kept trashing the footage because I was such a beginner at filming the video footage that it was always turning out terrible, um, or terribly, uh, I had issues uh, with my audio not being good, among other things. Mm. Nope. He's still up. <laughs> Dang, he's <It's> resilient. <laughs> um, okay. Um, <clears throat> anyway, uh, uh, so one time I was, I was, uh, I, you know, I, I was trying to film the footage over and over again. I kept trashing the footage over and over again because I couldn't get the recording to be decent. Uh, one of those playthroughs, I came up here. I wasn't even thinking about my movement. I was just, just walking through. I was walking from, from, I was walking from Sanctuary there and just walking through here to get to Abernathy. And I didn't even realize I was walking by the campfire that attracts monsters or attracts encounters or does whatever. And I didn't see anything here. So I didn't think anything of it. <clears throat> and then a rad scorpion popped out of the ground and just... <laughs> <laughs> wiped me out. <laughs> Just instantly dead. <laughs> um. Oh my goodness. Okay. <sighs> the Abernathy Abernathy's and Marcy Long saved my butt. Very thoughtful of them to help out. Let's give them some gear. Dump everything here in their workshop. Maybe I could plant that carrot. I think there's a thing called... It's it's called orange mentats. Um, and I, I think it gives you a, like a huge perception boost, maybe? Uh, which makes sense that they would tie that to carrots. Um, I would like... To make some of those orange mentats if I can. Okay. Let's put it right. Put it right here. Still got a little bit of raised area here for it. Resource object is damaged. Whoa. I oh yeah, we were we were talking about this earlier, not, not in this video, but like probably all the way back in video one or two or three, was the idea of um, things can get damaged during a raid, and if you leave the crops as is in Abernathy Farm, and you don't replant, then when crops get damaged, they stay permanently damaged and never get fixed. That is bad news. Um, however, in this case, I did replant, which means there shouldn't be a single broken crop. 
And if there is, they should be fixable. It was telling me something was broken. seem to be okay. The veggies all seem to be okay. They all look alright. I don't know what it was telling me about something was broken. We're gonna just uh, drop down our carrot. Okay. 18 food currently being produced. There might not be enough for anyone to take care of this carrot. Yeah, nobody's going to take over that carrot. We'll force it, though. Let's take Connie. Sure. We assign her to that carrot, and then she'll randomly select other crops to harvest. I guess back up to 18, but now the carrot is included. Okay. Doing great. Oh my goodness. Well, that was quite stunning. Um, oh. I did say I want to go after that silt bean. I wonder if I if I've already picked it up. Let me go look. Mary's grave, I think. Yeah, right here. I did not get you. Three of them, as usual. Three silk bean. Now, I believe that there is stuff you can get there. Yeah, look at that. Let's see if I can sneak in without... I don't want to fight the rad stags. At least if I can just sneak to this gear. Okay. Don't want to fight you. You're fine. But that's a problem. Look at that. Come on. Oh, for Pete's sake. There you go. Good. Oh, another one. Oh, no. Wait, there's a third one? run. Some distance between me and it. Well, at least I'm hitting him a bunch. But I'm not doing a lot of damage. Something's out there. justice for you. Thank you for helping me. You guys are awesome. Okay. There were four of them. <clears throat> I should see three bodies that I could pick up and eat their food. Take this mute for two. A lot of 
mute for it. of the four I'm not attacking you you're fine this is a green cabin but it is not the Gorski cabin that we were by previously this is something new. And it looks like this was once a settlement because you can see a cooking station, a chem station. Um, somebody was living here. Maybe not anymore. No loot. Let's go in. <clears throat> oh no, it won't let me. There it goes. Wasteland Survival Guide. What does this give me? Perfect. 5% less damage from melee attacks. Oh, I really could have used that when that dog attacked me. But alright, I'll take it now. Thank you. What else is in here? Skeleton in a suitcase. Nothing in the dresser. The runaway hollow tape, bubblegum, and a laundered green dress. Is that the runaway? Someone in a blue dress. All right. Let's listen to the runaway's hollow tape. Yes, no. Sorry. So, <clears throat> uh, we were counting. There were four bloatflies that I shot, but I only got meat from three of them because I could not find the fourth one. Now, there is a way to find the fourth one. Um, there's, I, I have two solutions for this problem. Well, the first solution is stop caring about it. It doesn't matter. Well, there is one other thing I can do. 
And that is, I can go into the build menu. And I can put down this critter that I have also put down in Sanctuary. You've seen it before. I think it's under Structures Miscellaneous. There. Mr. Tidy. If I tell Mr. Tidy to clean up, it will then scan the area for all bodies. It will find all the bodies. It will remove them from the field of battle so that you don't see the bodies anymore. But it will also take any loot that is on those bodies and put it into the chest here. And um, this might get me the meat that I'm missing. It might get me even more than that because there may be a body or two somewhere around Abernathy Farm that I don't know about. So let's, let's let it go and see what it does. But first we'll change the tidying area. Normally it stays within settlement boundaries, but we're going to tell it to tidy everything in its range. And then grab stray weapons if you find any on the ground too. And then begin. Let's see. What do I want to do from here? I think I want to sleep and then try to go back to Corvega. We've been trying to do Corvega. Oh, I lost Codsworth. Let me go to Codsworth and then, and then I'll sleep. Codsworth went back to Sanctuary. Keep up the good work, June. There he is. Oh, he might really not like me now that he's... Now that he's been killed in the line of fire. Let's see. Hey, Codsworth. Shall I accompany you, sir? Would you like to? As you wish, sir. Yes, of course. As you wish, sir. <laughs> he sounds so unenthusiastic. Um, <laughs> he does not want to come. Um, we're going to give him one more try, see if we can win him over, but uh, if he keeps dying in the line of fire, it might not matter. He might, he might want to never hang out with me again. We'll see. Um, okay, let's sleep. Hey everyone, thanks for watching, and uh, as you can see, I started my new day by doing some crafting and so on, and um, we'll pick up the next video after I finished crafting some loot, and we'll hopefully get on our way toward Corvega and see what we can find out. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good day. Bye.